Yo guys, what's going on? This is CSS for Beginners Lesson 16 and today we're going to look at child selectors. That's coming up. <laughs> so once again we're back at this groovy diagram and I'm just going to keep this pretty brief because we've already explained this but last time we said that all of these here were descendants of the body tag. Now children are slightly uh, different we take into account how many levels deep children go. So what we would say is that this div tag here and this H1, those tags in yellow, are children of the body tag. And this H1 is a grandchild. It's not a direct child of the body tag. It's still a descendant, but it's not a child of the body tag. So that's the difference, okay? Now we know that, we're going to look at creating some CSS rules taking into account children in the HTML file. <laughs> okay, so I'm back here again, and... Uh, Got exactly the same HTML file, totally stripped out the syntax.css, so we're starting with a blank slate again. Now, last time we looked at descendants, and we did a rule like this. We said main content, that's the parent, and P. So go and get all these P tags and give them a colour of red. So that right there, my friends, is going to style all of these P tags. This one, and these two here, because they're all descendants of this main content ID, which is great. But say we don't want that. Say we just want to style these in a particular way. We don't want all the descendants to be styled the same way, just the direct children. That's where the child combinator, that's what it's called, comes into play. I'm going to show you that in a second. But remember, these two here are direct children of this div because they're only one level deep. This one here is not a direct child of this because it's two levels deep. It's in here this div and then in here. So it's more of a grandchild. So we can't use the child combinator to style this in relation to this, but we can use it to style these because they're direct children. So how do we do that? Well, simple. All you need to do is come between your main content and your P and we do the angle bracket forward uh, like a little arrow. That's saying that you want all the direct children that are P tags. That's called the child combinator. That right here, the child combinator. And we use it to select direct children. So now, instead of styling all of these P tags, this one, this one, and this one, this is saying, just get me the direct children, which are P tags of the main content. And that's just these two here. So let's just save that and make sure we've got everything right by viewing this in a browser. And yep, there we go. So it's just the top two P tags here that have been styled red according to our child combinator selector. And this one here, which is uh, still a descendant but not a direct child, remains black. That's perfect. So now we know what child combinators are and how we use them within CSS rules to just grab uh, direct children. So it's another tool for your CSS selector arsenal. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment down below. Um, if you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe, uh, like them or share them. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.